That's it. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Serena, hence the intro. That's so Rena. You get it corny, I know, but that's just how we are here. In today's video, I have my cousin here with me, and I'm gonna be transferring, well, transferring, transforming her into me. See you guys in the next video. I'm gonna be doing a voiceover because it was a lot going on, you know, virtual school and stuff. But um, yeah. Bye. Bye. Okay, Princess Face is already cleaned and moisturized. So the first step that I'm gonna do is prime. Her eyebrows have recently been treated. Um, she does them herself, actually. She plucks and does the razor. I use the e.l.f. putty primer, and now I'm just gonna do her eyebrows. Brow pencil, obviously, but um, yeah, I don't know the exact name for it. She has a few of her own makeup products. So I was using some of mine, some of hers. But yeah, I'm doing my regular eyebrow routine that I do on myself, on her. So I'm taking the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and I'm going underneath just to clean up the brows. It didn't leave, it did not need that much cleaning up. However, just to make it more sharp and precise, I went in and did that. on the top and on the bottom, and I went to the other side as well. After brows, I jump straight into, well, first I blend it out with a buffer brush and drag it down toward her eyelid. Mind you, everything is already primed. And after I buffed it out is when I jumped into the eyeshadow. So we were going for like a soft glam kind of peachy look to complement her skin tone. And obviously her skin is gonna be glowing at the end. So the red peachy tone was just gonna, you know, bring out her natural glow to be honest she wasn't wearing orange or anything but i had the james charles palette so it made sense to just you know take that peachy red color and then blend it out with some orange so that is what i'm about to do so for the first layer i just pat it on to the lid so that the pigment stays the James Charles palette is very pigmented though. So I had a very light hand and I'm just patting it on and then I'm gonna take the orangey color and blend that out. I'm gonna do the same on both sides. And orange is a really good transition shade for uh, women of color. But she's seen a picture um, that she was trying to emulate, which I'll put on the screen so you guys can see. For the look we were going for, the main focus was her complexion and her glow. So the eyeshadow does not have to be harsh or dramatic like we're not doing any cut creases or anything it's just a nice smoky peachy orange color to complement her skin her cap and gown is yellow and orange and then she had a sh uh, picture in a white shirt and blue jeans so like I said the makeup didn't have to be very dramatic Applying Maybelline Fit Me to her skin. And this is her beauty blender, if, if anyone 
wants to know. Um, yeah, we used her brushes, her beauty blender and everything, unless there was a brush that she needed and I had and she didn't. But this is her beauty blender. I'm just blending out that foundation into her skin. And the beauty blender is damp, by the way. All these steps that I'm doing are in my everyday makeup routine minus the eyeshadow. So I will link that video for you guys to see me do it on myself if that helps you. The shade that I used to clean up her brows with, which is the color Fawn, is the same I'm using to highlight for her. And I'm using the same beauty blender that I used that had her foundation on it to blend that into her skin so that it is a seamless blend. Again, the beauty blender is still damp, by the way. Normally on my own face, I don't set my concealer. However, her skin type is not the same as mine. You guys know that my skin is mostly dry. It doesn't really get oily at all, unless, you know, I'm hot. But um, <laughs> I went ahead and set her face with the setting powder that she had already with this fluffy brush. Since she'll be taking pictures and being lighting, I didn't want her to be you know oily and have to blot and mess up her makeup then i'm taking the revolution bronzer and just contouring with it her cheekbones are very prominent already as well as her chin so really she doesn't really need that much contour i added blush on her cheeks and on her nose and a little bit on her forehead because that's where I put mine. Spray her face with setting spray. Then I add her highlighter because when your face is wet from 
setting spray and you put highlighter on top oh chef kiss beautiful Mwah. and we'll come back when her lashes are on so yeah guys that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed princess do you like your makeup i love it love it period boo period okay <laughs> anyways yeah remember to like comment and subscribe you guys bye, bye.